So you know that palm oil stuff that there's a lot of controversy over at the moment um, that they put in delicious Nutella? It basically comes from these things. I'm not gonna say that like all the world's palm oil comes from this farmer, but most of it does, right? Yes. Yeah. You can, we Whoa. should we should handle it with care. Whoa, it's spikier because than the sun. The spike oven. Yep. So this has often got some quite nasty ants in it, like bullet ants, did he say? What? Well, oh, yes, we can get all of them. Those are the bad ones. Uh, so what happens is they they take this and they separate out the fruit, right? Yes. yes. So we can just take it out, right? Yeah. And then the palm oil comes from the skin of the fruit um, as well as the stone in the middle, right? Yes. Sort of nuts in the middle. Yeah. You can also eat the pop. All right. Oh, yeah, we did it. Mm. Okay. It basically tastes like chicken, like really oily chicken. <laughs> it's basically like oil, isn't it? Yes, it's good. It's delicious. It's like a butternut squash, but like really, really oily. Hmm. Anyway, so the way that this is farmed in places like Indonesia is really unsustainable because they just farm the palm oil by itself. Um, but here, you mix it up with loads of different crops, right? Yes. This system brings them <coughs> a lot of benefits. So each it's part of our prime yeah. is used here. It's not as a traditional industrial uh, plantation. Yeah, uh, that they where they, they throw yes. it all away. Yes. Yeah. So not only is the farming <coughs> done with this palm oil a lot more sustainable, um, but also it's not done on an enormous scale because they they don't really export it. It's pretty yes, private actually. Yes. They just keep it to themselves. You can't really can't really get. Here we have the, the process yeah. of trans uh, trans from the transformation. So the fruits are separated from the seeds and the skin and the fruit, um, and then everything that can be turned into palm oil is heated and pressed to release the palm oil. And everything else is used for other pretty cool, useful stuff. And the palm oil at the end is red, which is quite unique to the area. Uh, and how delicious is this if we were to uh, the, we cook with to we eat cook the meal? But would anyone just drink that? Yes, we cannot drink. We it's can't. Cold. No, we cannot. Do this. What would happen if we drank it? Uh, collapse. <laughs> really? Yes. Really? As yes. in, it's so intensely oily. Uh, it is oily. It is can very. I, it can is I try like a oily. tiny yes. amount? Yes, 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 you can. If it's just uh, a tiny a bit, bit, you can try. Okay. So it would just be like the fruit, right? Yes. But really oily. Mmm, we can definitely see how you could collapse mm. from yeah. eating a lot of that. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, I'm done okay. with oil. <laughs> Thank you. Um, after we process the, the pulp, mm -hmm. we have the nut inside. This is the nut. So this is a big one? Yes. This is a big one. And this, this will also be heated and pressed yes, and you'll get the yes. palm oil out. We, we, Delish. Yes. Produce for producing soap. Oh, uh, soaps. Soaps, yeah, yeah, cool. Okay. medicines and all those. Yeah. It is all fine nails. And it's effective, right? Yes. Effective AF. I've seen it in action. Uh, I mean, I'm not very good at brooming, but this is really compensating for my... Yeah. I just realized this is held together by a tin can. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> Look at that. Tomatoes, quite friendly tomato as well. <laughs> and this, this is the remaining um, kind of husks from when you pressed out all the oil, right? Yes. We use this as uh, how to say combustible. Combustible. You yes. burn it. Yes. You burn it. Yeah. For fire. For f yeah. Cool. I don't want to see it burning. Should we light it up? Should we get it lit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Light it. Okay, wow. it's so oily. Huh? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>